Hello, welcome to Juniper Level Botanic Garden, the home of Plant Delights Nursery. Let's look at the uh, model gingers, the heart leaf plants. They're not at all related to the culinary ginger, it's just that quite a few species, if you crush the plant, has a wonderful gingery root beer smell. Um, it's a fairly big genus. We have 92 different species in our collection. Um, like so many plants, the number of species native to North America is relatively small, but the number native to Asia is huge. Um, I just learned a lot more about the Asarums recently from one of the um, most knowledgeable plant people I know and also one of the nicest people I know, Dr. Patrick McMillan. So, um, um, most of the asarums are evergreen, a few are deciduous, so they're often really beautiful foliage plants year-round, but um, the flowers are even more variable than the foliage, and let's take a peek at uh, a few of them. They're mostly late winter, early spring blooming, and um, the flowers are hidden under the foliage, and this is maybe one of the most distinct flowers in our whole collection. It might look like a bunch of pine needles have landed on top of the plant, but those are actually um, the extensions of the calyx lobes. And um, one thing I learned is that asarums are very primitive flowering plants. They lack petals, and instead what look like petals are lobes in the calyx, and the calyx forms this floral tube down here, too. Um, the flowers um, are pollinated by creatures crawling along the ground or sometimes little fruit flies and stuff. Um, the earliest um, flowering plants had to count on pollinators other than bees because uh, pollinating bees didn't exist until the flowers arrived. They weren't waiting around for the day that evolution produced flowers. Um, this is an asarum with a really long specific epithet, Minamitanianum. Um, it's an Asian species and really an extraordinary flower. Let's part the foliage and get a better view. They're all hidden down here under the foliage. Yeah, there we go. It's a shame, um, you have to work to find these flowers on most of them, but they're worth the trouble. And we'll see some with really large flowers. Many have, um, you know, flowers that are maybe about a quarter inch, half inch wide, and dense clusters of them. But this is one of the exceptional ones. Um, and, you know, the foliage is beautifully modeled as probably most asarums have modeled foliage as opposed to solid green. Well, let's go and find some more. Look at the beautiful foliage on this uh, green leaf with the paler veining through it. It's a selection of a Japanese species, Asarum kyushianum from the um, Japanese island Kyushu. Variety tubulosa in the um, cultivar Aquarius. It's um, an unusual flower in that it's, most of the flowers we'll see today are in various shades of um, maroon and, and brown, but this one is almost white, lovely little flower. I love the um, banding in the throat of the um, calyx. You can see the whole cluster of flowers um, down at ground level, waiting, waiting for a slug or a sow bug to come along. This is a, a Sarum Maximum. The cultivar is masterpiece. Maximum, of course, meaning large or largest. And the flowers are just absolutely amazing. Its common name is the panda asarum, or panda ginger. Um, and 
it's clear why it would get that name. Here it is blooming on March 14th, blooming in late winter, almost spring. This beautiful wild ginger is Asarum forbsii, named for somebody named Forbes. And the flowers aren't as dramatic as others, but you see there they are hidden under the evergreen foliage. And I picked one. Um, see, it's a little brown jug. And, and some of our native um, asarums have the common names of little brown jugs. Um, little white ring around the throat of, to the flower. It's a... Uh, Growing here with um, other shade-loving plants like Cyclamen heterofolium, a really pretty double white um, Lenten rose, Hellebores um, hybridus, and a very small cultivar, um, Rhodia japonica. <laughs> All right, not yet. I want to get liberate a flower first. They're they're like they're like lettuce. There we go. Oh that's wonderful. Um yeah well th that's one of the pollinators. Um this asarum is Asarum macranthum which means large flower and it's a cult cultivar Wule Wonder, and I picked this one flower um, so you can more readily distinguish one flower from a mass of flowers. Um, and there's a snail inside, and you have to wonder who pollinates this, these flowers that are occur at ground level. Well, it's not, um, you know, bumblebees and butterflies, but it's snails and slugs. Um, they'll travel from flower to flower and end up poll pollinating them. Um, it's a real beautiful evergreen ginger and you can see you know once you know that there might be real treasures like these flowers hidden under the foliage you tend to walk through the garden and stop at each asarum and part the foliage. This is um, Asarum nobilissimum, which means not only um, noble, but very noble. That isimum ending essentially means very. And our own selection, crown royal or crown royale. Glorious evergreen foliage. This is a new leaf. We haven't yet cleaned off the old leaves. We're a little behind in the garden. But the large number are very, very... Um, big flowers, but it's not really wanting you to see them, so I picked a flower. Really beautiful. Typical uh, three petals of all of the um, asarums. And here's a selection of the same species, but a, a different cultivar. This is um, our selection, King Kong, with an even bigger flower. I'll put the two down by each other. Paler flower, but really, really large. Um, so um, many of the asarums have um, spectacular flowers. Very often you have to make an effort to find them under the foliage. Um, they're very modest that way, but they're really excellent shade garden plants, and the evergreen ones have a presence in the garden year-round. We generally cut the old foliage off in late winter before they put, start flowering or putting up new growth. Um, just, um, you know, average soil. I'd avoid a soggy spot, but beyond that, just average soil, moderate moisture, and a great, great, great shade garden plant. Thank you very much for your time today, and I hope to see you again in the garden.